Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jake the Fate, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a review and demo on this Schecter Damien 6 guitar. Alright, so here I have this Damien 6 Schecter guitar. And I've already done a Damien 6 Platinum FRS review and demo, but this one's a little bit different. And I'm going to take you guys to the workbench and show you guys spec by spec what this guitar has, what it brings, and all the cool features that it has. Now, this guitar is an older model and it is used. And as you guys can see, these strings are not the stock strings that come with the guitar, obviously. The previous owner must have just put these coated colored strings on this guitar. I personally wouldn't have done this because it does make the guitar look a little bit goofy. But without further ado, let's go to the workbench. And after that, I'm going to give you guys a quick little demo of how this guitar sounds and give you guys my final thoughts on this Schecter Damien 6. Before we get started, I do want to apologize if you guys hear any random noises like gunshots or freaking people screaming or something. My wife's watching Law & Order in the room right next door and it's pretty loud. But uh, yeah, so this guitar is... A 25 and a half inch scale length guitar with a 42 millimeter nut width over here and this is just a regular plastic nut it's not anything fancy or special the body on this guitar is a basswood body now the newer ones the newer models that they are recently making are mahogany body the neck on this guitar is a this is a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard and even with the newer models the the neck is a maple neck but they just paint it black with like a set in black so the neck did stay the same for all these years and like i said this guitar is an older model it has been used but not abused you've got 24 extra jumbo frets here and these are nickel frets they're not anything stainless steel or anything i i am gonna have to polish these and i'm gonna clean this guitar up and these strings they have to go because like I said, it just, it, it just, it's off-putting. And as you guys can see, there's a nice contour right over here on this horn and on this horn over here. Most, most Schecters, they always have that. And there's a nice arc to this right here. There's a nice little arc to it. And I personally love how that looks. I love, that's why mainly I love Schecters, just because of that right there. Uh, I really don't like flat guitars. I don't know why, but this just makes it look so badass when you have something like this here i know it's very minimal but to me it just looks just like sick so in terms of electronics very simple one master volume one master tone three-way selector switch and you have a set of emgs here but these are not regular emgs i'm going to get into that these are the emg hz sets so they're basically passive pickups and i'm going to get into it once i take off the strings uh yeah, so without further ado, I'm just going to take these strings off and show you guys what's under the hood here. Give you guys a few more specs of this guitar. All right, so after giving this guitar a nice cleanup, polishing up these frets wow this looks a lot better now the inlays on this guitar are the most eye-catching thing about this guitar you got these black bat perloid inlays on the guitar you've got them on the third the fifth the seventh the ninth the twelfth the fifteenth the seventeenth the nineteenth the twenty-first and on the twenty-third fret right over here like how i said it's really eye-catching you know, it really does make you want to play some dark stuff, if you know what I mean. Having these inlays on this guitar, it does make you want to play a certain style, or maybe it just makes you want to get the guitar itself. But that's what made me want to get my Schecter Damien Platinum FRS, just because I saw the inlays on the guitar, and I was like, oh, dude, I freaking need that. <laughs> Moving on to the headstock here, you have a Damien 6 plastic cover for your truss rod cover right there. And it's also like a satin black finish on the front of the headstock here. And like how I said, this one is an older model. So the Schecter logo is the older one. 
It's kind of like the classic looking Schecter logo. The newer ones kind of look like this. This is what the newer Schecter logo font looks like, which I do really like because it's got like a gothic look to it. But I do really like how the Diamond Series, that font, it kind of looks like it was painted with like a brush or something. So I do really like how that looks, but I prefer the newer font. So now moving on to the pickups of the guitar. This is really interesting. I have never actually tried the EMG HZ sets just because, I don't know, it just never really attracted me. I was like, oh, I need active pickups. Oh, no, wait, no, I'm lying. I did have a LTD M300 that came with an EMG HZ set and it had a single coil. So, I mean, trying this set, I've never tried it. This right here, this pickup is the H4 and this is the H4A. So, let's see what that looks like. Ah, one second. And you can actually unclip these. So, this is what that pickup looks like. You can actually unclip them like the regular EMGs, but they're not the three connector the three prong connectors because you do have the ground the bear the red the white and the ground right there as you can see all the wires right there these are passive pickups so they don't run on batteries so this pickup right here the emg h4 it's a combination of having like the emg 81 like it's got that sound of the 81 but with a passive uh tone to it basically like so they combine a paf uh passive pickup the characteristics of an 81 you know it's got that aggressive uh tone to it and it's overwound so you get a higher output and it does have a ceramic magnet in this one and on this one it's a bit warmer this one has a warmer tone to it and it's wound like a traditional humbucker pickup and this one does have an Elnico 5 magnet in it so you're going to have very distinctive sounds, you know, from a ceramic to an Alnico 5. And I prefer something like this on my pickups, having a ceramic bridge and an Alnico uh, 5 magnet or Alnico. But it does give you a warmer clarity in the mid range and even on the high range. This one is going to have a bit of a tighter low range to it. So the bass is going to be like real tight and the and the highs are going to be like, you know, punchy like real crunchy and out there and what we have in here you know it's nothing fancy but you know it is painted all black i don't know if there's any conductive painting in there Schechter always does a great job on their guitars so i'm not surprised that there's like no imperfections in there and if you guys are wondering what that goop right there is this little booger looking thing the, these these uh, humbuckers are fully shielded. You know how the active pickups have that black acrylic thing they put in there to shield it all off? They put this thing in here all in there to like basically minimize the noise that comes out of these pickups. So you have like no microphonic sounds. So I'm actually going to take a quick reading of these pickups to see what they read. If they can read anything, I don't know because I've never actually taken a reading of the active pickups. You can't read it because you know it's got the preamp in it these being passive pickups i want to see if, you, if i can actually get a reading and see what these read all right so for the bridge right here we have 13.69 k ohms the neck 13.39 so they're pretty much around the same i don't know if the magnets is what's going to make it different and in the middle 6.88 both of them combined so like I said, I don't know if these pickups are meant to be read like this. I don't know if that's the accurate reading of these pickups, but that is what I'm getting. They're both around the same and, you know, they're pretty hot. They're both pretty hot. 13, almost 14K ohms each is, you know, pretty, pretty high output. So yeah, 13.69 for a bridge pickup. That's more than enough for anyone playing metal guitar. So the bridge on this guitar is a tunematic bridge. This one is a, what is this? 
Sung Sung Il. I've seen this bridge before on a a few other Schecters. I think it was the uh what Schecter was it? Uh the Lady Luck. I think this one came with something like that. But that one was a instead of it being black, it was kind of like a distressed color. The hardware on this guitar is black. You got these domed neural knobs, black neural knobs. And it's contoured also right in there. So you guys have a nice access to it. Both volume and on the tone and also on the uh, pickup select switch. I don't know. I, I just think that gives it a really nice aesthetic look to it. You know, with the contours and everything. And something about this guitar, uh, it is a satin finish. And what I've noticed with satin guitars over time you're going to get a bunch of this stuff right here. Even if you clean it off, wherever you're, you lay your hand or, you know, you're basically going to rub this off to a gloss. So if you're constantly doing this, going back and forth from here, you know, like right over here, as you guys can see right there, that's very glossy compared to there. It's because your form is always resting on this. So you're going to gloss that out eventually over time. So be aware of that kind of stuff, guys. If you guys get satin guitars, that's going to happen. This guitar is around 18 years old. So this guitar is a 2006 guitar. I mean, it's still in great shape. If you look at it, it's still in an amazing great shape. This guitar is loaded with Grover tuners, 3x3s. And I don't know if you guys can see that right there. But it says 06-38-029. So... 06 being it's a 2006 guitar made in South Korea. And I, like I've always said, South Korean guitars, Indonesian guitars, guitars from there are amazing guitars. You know, they've last long. And this guitar itself, it's like, it's, it's proof of that, that this guitar is in great condition. So, yeah, you know, you got a little volute right there. And this guitar is a gloss neck. I don't know why they did that. Like, I prefer... A satin neck i think they started they realized that that's not a good thing because now most of the guitars that they're making now are all satin necks because you can see the separation is a satin and it goes into gloss so if you guys don't like gloss necks there's always ways to fix this yeah back of the guitar it's a flat back it's got a nice belly cut over here this guitar is a bolt-on neck. Now, having a bolt-on doesn't mean that the guitar is a cheap guitar. It just means it's constructed differently. But it's, it's basically just preference, you know, player's choice. If you guys want a neck-through guitar, a guitar that's bolted on, you know, it's it's all preference. Uh, for me personally, I don't mind it, but I prefer a neck-through guitar. And honestly, I think the neck plate is actually freaking badass. You know, it's got the old Schecter logo on it. The address of the factory in California. You know, I think that's like really cool, you know, things to have. They don't have to do that, but I think that's pretty cool. So, again, back of the guitar. This guitar is a string through body, as you guys can see right there. The string through body. And right here in the control cavity, there's not really much going on. But you do have these quartered sized uh, potentiometers with the three-way selector switch. You've got the volume, you've got the tone. And they did a really clean job on this right here. You know, there's no wires everywhere. They put a little zip tie. And this thing has been like this for almost 20 years, as you guys can see. It's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> so again, if you guys do want to grab a guitar like this, I don't know if the newer ones are like this, but I'm pretty sure all the guitars, and like I said, these pickups are passive. So they are wired straight onto the guitar. There's no batteries. They're not the active EMGs. You know, even with the active pickups, Schecter, they don't use the, the little clip-on potentiometers that you would get if you order EMG, something like this. They don't put uh, the clip-ons. They solder everything on, and then they solder on the battery clip, and everything's soldered on, basically. So they don't use this kind of stuff, and I figured that they probably would when I first bought a EMG-equipped guitar. I'm like, oh, it's going to come with this kind of stuff, but it doesn't. If you guys have seen any of my other videos that come with EMGs, 
they're all soldered on. So this right here is also another example of what's going to happen over time. You know, you lay your body on the guitar right here. It's going to your shirt is going to gloss it out. You know, it's going to rub off the satin coating on this guitar. So that's something, again, like I said, to be aware of. But, you know, it's not really if you guys don't mind it. It's not anything to be like, oh, God, this guitar is ruined. These are the strap buttons that come with the guitar. Very good quality strap buttons. It's not like those like dumb ones where they'll like slip off. This one's flat, rounded on top. Perfect to put your 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 strap on and it's not going to go anywhere. Of course, you can't do a freaking guitar flip with this thing. This thing's just going to go flying off anyways. But it does have a really good flat bottom to put your strap on. But yeah, man, so I'm actually going to take off the neck and see what's under here. If there's anything cool or interesting and see what's living under there. All right. So there's really nothing <laughs> interesting or cool under the neck. Usually there's like numbers or letterings or something that indicates when when the neck was made when the body was made so there's actually nothing in here but i do want to show this right here like this plate man oh dude like this looks sick like i would have kept this thing you know placed somewhere you know like on a wall or something this thing is sick it's freaking awesome it kind of reminds me of the triple h logo maybe it's just me and my big wrestling nerdy fan but yeah anyways basically all i'm gonna do now is just put this guitar back together uh put on a new set of strings and give you guys a quick demo of how this guitar sounds clean it up a little bit and give you guys my final thoughts on this Schecter damien six
So there it is, the Schecter Damien 6. Now, what are my final thoughts on this guitar? I personally think that this guitar is a great guitar if you guys are on a budget because I got this guitar used. Now, I did get it for like 200, 250 bucks around there, which is a great steal, you know. You're not going to find a guitar with this much amazing quality for that price range. And this is the first Schecter guitar that I actually bought that isn't over eight hundred a thousand dollars because i don't know for some reason i was like let me i never wanted to steer into that direction when it came to Schecter's. i didn't want to get disappointed and be like oh you know like the lower tier guitars are going to sound like crap we're going to play like crap but man this thing took my breath away now can i compare it to my damien platinum frs uh obviously there's going to be some differences of course there's no sustainiac you don't have the active pickups and you don't have the Floyd Rose. And I personally think that if you're trying to steer away from the Floyd Rose, a tunematic bridge can't go wrong. It, it's got Grover tuners. Most of those guitars have Grover tuners, so you can't go wrong with that. And if you don't want to deal with the battery dying or anything like that, dude, this guitar, this these pickups are amazing. I it took it literally was oh man, like I never, like, again, like, I guess it's just like that whole of me just trying higher end guitars and, you know, EMG 81s and all the active pickups that I'm like, I'm not going to try that because I don't want to get disappointed. But honestly, it's like the exact opposite. Like, I'm like super excited and super happy that I actually got this guitar. Now, again, like how I said with the price range, the newer models, I think they come with like in-house stock pickups. They go for around 500 bucks, 499 around there, 500 which is still a great steal. And if you guys, like, see the specs on that guitar, like I said, it's got a mahogany body. Same kind of neck, but the neck is painted black. It doesn't have the, the, the neck plate on it, which I think is a bit of a bummer, but it does have, like, that ultra axis, you know. Some people don't like this being too thick. You know, I can I can live with it or without it. So now in terms of the pickups, this H4, awesome, amazing, amazing bridge pickup. It's got the punch of an 81. And, you know, the squeals, man, like the squeals is what really made me go like, wow, this thing does sound. That's why I like passive pickups because you can get amazing squeals. Some active pickups, they can, I don't know, like for me personally, they kind of die out real quick. But with these, man, like, they sound great. The neck pickup, it's got a creamy tone to it. I know a lot of people say that's a weird word to say, but it does have a warm, creamy tone to it because of that El Nico 5, like I said. So, overall, great guitar for the price range. Even though it's an older model, it plays like it's, like, a brand new guitar. So, if you guys want to have this guitar in your collection, again, with the bad inlays that's another awesome if you guys are a Schecter collector like i am having this with the the platinum and having like the newer models and you know a bunch of different guitars it's just cool to have in your collection now the only thing i don't like about this guitar is the neck being glossy like i guess they try to do like a fender type of thing but I personally don't like that because I have sweaty hands and it gets pretty sticky. But that's easily, you, know, you can easily take that off. Again, you know, great, well-built guitar, you know, from, from Korea. 
Grover tuners, you can't go wrong with that. EMG pickups, passive EMG pickups, you can't go wrong with that. Tunematic bridge, you know, a satin black color with these bad inlays, just like freaking badass guitar, man. I think it looks a lot better without that freaking rainbow thing it had, you know, the strings. I was like, I don't know who thought of that, but, you know, awesome, great guitar. Highly recommend you guys going out and trying to find one, add it to your collection. And with that, I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful in any way, shape, or form. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, because this is all I do on my channel. Guitar reviews, guitar builds, anything guitar related. And with that, guys, I'll catch you on the next one. Please don't hit me. What happened? No, I already finished.